Is Super Mario Wonder Game of the Year? No, definitely not. But it at least deserves the nomination it got. Have a great time. You're probably thinking, did I just get roped into a review video? Yep, <laughs> got your ass, but I'll keep it short because I know you don't know me or care to hear me talk for more than two and a half minutes. I want to start by saying I haven't played 2D Mario games. I know, fraud alert, fraud alert, but listen, I have them. I just never really played them for whatever reason. And as Mario Wonder was coming out, I thought I could make some YouTube videos off this new and relevant release. What I didn't expect was how much I'd genuinely enjoy the game. I mean, to put it bluntly, this shit is fun. I didn't even play online. Look at my heart score. I'm a menace, so I can't even speak about that part of the game. But the inclusion of special blocks only certain characters can see was fun even for a single player like me. I didn't play any characters besides Mario, but I have to assume they're all as expressive and vibrant as Mario is. The new power-ups created for this game also work to add to the charm of the game. Look at Elephant Mario squeeze through this door. The controls are responsive and tight for precise movements and the levels themselves are awesome. You start the game off touching your first Wonder Flower thinking, wow, this is fun, but I doubt every level has one of these, but basically every level does have one of those. Then you start thinking, well, sooner or later, they'll repeat wonders for sure, but no. Uh, they just throw new ones at you, like this mini boss you have to avoid as you collect the coins needed to advance. Then you have the optional special world for people like myself that want a little bit more of a challenge. Just the last level alone took me over 50 lives to beat, and me personally, 20 to 24 hours to 100% a game is great for me. I can't deal with all these long ass 100 plus hour games, but that's a conversation for another time. Is it game of the year? In my opinion, of course not. Is it one of those epic games that will go down as a generational experience? Probably not, but I am going to remember it and recommend this game to anyone that asks me about it. If you have a Nintendo Switch, pick this game up. Impressive. My final score, 9.3 out of 10.